Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series of software engineering course. Today I'll cover again one of the SDLC model that is iterative enhancement model. So, uh, iterative uh, enhancement model basically it starts uh, with the simple implementation of small set of requirements and iteratively enhances the evolving versions of the software until the complete software system is implemented and ready to be deployed. So, overall iterative model uh, does not need full specification of the requirement. It can start with some few requirements and then uh, iteratively it enhances the, uh, uh, the model by their continuous or iterative releases. So as you can see in the diagram, all the requirements are gathered uh, at the beginning of the development of software model and then start with some few requirements it starts the uh, developing the process and at the end of each iteration it actually releases a small uh, a small model of the software uh, until a complete model or a complete software system is implemented and deployed to the customer so one of the thing it is is important to be noticed over here we uh, before uh, by using uh, iterative enhancement model we need all the requirements at the beginning of the life cycle so uh, up now i need to tell you when we need to use the iterative enhancement model So as you can see, when we need to use uh, iterative enhancement model, the first when requirements of the complete software system are clearly defined and understood means when I need to start a project by using iterative enhancement model, I should have all the requirements. Second, major requirements must be defined. It means that the requirements which are prior to the customer or which are important features of the software system that should be clearly defined. New technologies is used or learned by the development team. When any software system is using some new technology or the technology used actually does not know uh, by the developer and they are learning that technology. In that scenario, again, iterative enhancement model can be used. Next reason, resources with needed skill set are not available. Where uh, those kind of resources which can improve the skills, if it is not available, then also iterative enhancement model would be the suitable model. And then there are some high risk features and goals that may change in future. So in case uh, if, the, if some of the requirements may change or the goal may be changed near future, then also the most suitable model would be the iterative enhancement model. Now I will explain what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of iterative enhancement model.
uh, some of uh, some are the few ad advantages of this model the first one some important features develop quickly at the early phase of the life cycle and that may reduce the risk uh, involved for those requirements second results are obtained early and periodically means if, if time by time some uh, products or some results are can be easily seen to the customers parallel development can be planned and this may save the time and effort of the development team progress can be easily measured as each iteration is shown to the customer uh, risks are identified and resolved during each iterations and at last less costly to change the scope of the project so hope you understand the advantages of iterative model now come to the disadvantages So there are few disadvantages of this model. The first disadvantage is that more resources may be required on the basis of uh, how iterations are getting increased during the development process. Although cost of changing the scope or requirement are less, but this model is not feasible to change the requirements as all the requirements are gathered at the beginning of the uh, life cycle process, system architecture and design issues may also arise due to the gathering requirements at the early stages of life cycle. And this uh, model is not suitable for small kind of projects and at the end of the project is not known when, wherever we start the development by using iterative enhancement model. So I hope you understand today's topic of iterative enhancement model. Uh, if you have any kind of query, you can write in the comment box. So thank you students. Keep watching and listening.